two people there. Whoa! Hey, hey there's people here. You came. What's going on? It's backwards. Oh, we're not smart enough to figure that out. Oh, no, you're, oh, you're it's, fine. Not, uh, it's not important. It's not important. <laughs> it's sideways. It's code. Yeah, I don't know. If, it's, if the orientation's weird, go to Facebook. If you don't like this orientation, go to Facebook. If you don't like this orientation, go to Instagram. <laughs> um, or just read along. Tomorrow. Eddie will be moderating this. Yes, this is Eddie's debate. Try not to make this too difficult for us. Because <laughs> this is just fun. We're just having fun. Tina, you want to talk a little bit? Make sure you can hear everybody. What's up? Can you hear me? Hello. Greetings. Thumbs up. Can everybody Welcome. hear me? Mm -hmm. Can everybody hear me? <laughs> Hello. 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 Greetings. Hello. How are we doing? Ryan Oliver, yes, let's fucking go. <laughs> oh yeah, you can hear him. I can hear you right there. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. Rosin, it makes working. my heart happy too. Cool. We're gonna take a few minutes just to get dialed in and let some people tune in, so just hang tight. Yes, perfect, thank you. Yo, Travis. Yeah, okay, 30 people, that's what's up. A few more minutes, we're just letting people tune in. Um, yeah, cool. This is great. This is tight, yeah. We've never done this before. We're old. Artist management advice. You're an artist manager, right? Not right. For YouTubers, <laughs> no. Oh, there's Nick Brown. The D. Nick, Nick Brown! Brown. A dot! A dot! There he is. A dot! Yeah, 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 that's true. Woo hoo hoo! All right. If you, yeah. guys, if you have any questions that you legitimately want answered, please leave them on the Reddit. Uh, or, or Facebook. Well, this is okay for now, but when we sit down, please leave the questions on the Reddit or the Nobody's Facebook. Nuts. We love you. I love you too. I love you too. Um, that way we can hopefully get to everybody. But uh, yeah, this is so Amazing. weird. Isn't this weird? It's, yeah. This is 2006 <laughs> all over again. Any acoustic songs? Oh, we were just talking about that. Yeah, we uh, were thinking about it. Who wants it? Who wants the yeah. Why am I What's up, Nadia? I'm, yeah, I'm screaming. I don't know. Everybody's asking for the vinyl for the greatest of all. I've been seeing so many vinyl man. requests, I man. Do we, we, have, we need investors. We need investors yeah, for the go. vinyl. There you go. Thank you, Saucy <laughs> Ross. <laughs> Glad to be back, baby. Yeah. We got two more minutes. We'll be getting a single demo soon. Yes. Yes. Maybe um, maybe in ten minutes. Who knows? Two more minutes. We're letting people tune in. We'll, we'll what year is this? <laughs> <laughs> it's two thousand nine. What's up, Jerry? Oh man. Uh, so sick. <laughs> <laughs> I'll invest in you. Dude, all right. Features. Bob, we need your investment. You yeah. gotta buy the rights from Warner, please. <laughs> How much is is Joey is? Jordan to the new drummer? Right? Slipknot? Yeah, yeah, uh, maybe. It's a couple so zeros. It's it's definitely a couple zeros. Uh, Unfortunately. It's called, it's called uh, all day money. Man. Life. The music doesn't uh, give you money yeah. and, and you need it to live. <laughs> and not honestly. Yeah. He's, he's producing we're back. the new album. Woo! We're producing... Wait, uh, hold up. We're not even... Sorry, oh, yeah. Yeah. No, sorry, we're not just going. Yeah, yeah, we're not answering the question. That's a good question, though. Send the questions to the Facebook or the Reddit, if, please. What's up, Randy? Please. please. Nice shade. Yeah. Yeah, yeah Phantom Bride. <laughs> Ooh, this is so right. weird, yeah. Uh, <laughs> this rules. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> kangaroos, <laughs> kangaroos, <laughs> they seem chill. I don't, I'm not sure. Never uh, met one. I wouldn't want to get kicked by one. Never met one. I'd like to. Wow. Let's throw back. Temecula. Our post hardcore, yes. Yes. Make sure you guys are hitting up the our post hardcore Reddit. Reddit. Reddit, yes. Shout out to Why San Diego. Why not just answer questions here? We are. Because <laughs> then we're all like this. Like, yeah. what? Do you need shrooms in the desert? <laughs> <laughs> shroom in the desert. Absolutely. It's a, it, was, it was a joke. You use a longer definition right now. If you want me to yeah, shroom, yeah, too. Yeah. So, How many people are in this one? 92. Uh, 92. Yeah, Jason Knock. Right. Got 93 on attack high. Not bad, Damn. Damn. What's up, man? Damn. Alright, you guys ready to. 94. Like it or oh, not. It just keeps going up. It keeps going up. Alright, now that we're This is great. 
cool. Hi. Hey, we'll, all right. we'll, we'll continually tell them where to go. To yeah, the we're gonna we're gonna start reading some of the questions on the from the Reddit and Facebook, um, and then we'll come back when we're like this. Ask more questions. But if we're sitting here, we can't read it. So we're gonna go back and read some questions from Reddit and Facebook. I saw Matt's mom at Walmart. That's cool. Hopefully you want a picture. Rambo wants a wave, Matt. Rambo? Give Rambo a wave. There it is. That's Randy. Who? Come on, buddy. All right. All right, let's go. What do we got, to know? Nice, all right. Well, we got a bunch of questions. It's been awesome getting everyone's, I mean, response to it. It's been so sick. Um, we're working on a new album, and it's been, it's been over a decade since we've written songs together. What Some of it, have, we haven't even written like this. It's, it's a whole new time, and uh, it's a kind of a new experience, but it feels very familiar to all of us, too. And that's like something that's like incredibly special. So it's so sick seeing everyone's support and seeing everybody you know, rally around and comment and engage in it. Like, dude, that's what it's fucking all about. So thank you guys, everybody that, all of our friends and family and fans from all over the world. I saw Sao Paulo, Brazil, like. <laughs> so we'll, we'll make it to all those places once it's safe, but right now we're working on music. And uh, so we wanted to see some questions and see what you guys kind of want to know. So if you want to go leave comments on the Facebook, uh, on our Instagram post or on the post hardcore subreddit and we're going to try and get through a bunch of these and hopefully kind of like connect with you guys after 10 years. <laughs> we, might, so, we, might yeah. some, uh, we might play some jams too. Yeah, yeah. yeah. We've, we've, been, might play some music. we've been out here working on jams and uh, tightening everything up and making sure that we're still writing sick tunes and as far as we're all concerned it's still there. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> so, uh, so yeah, we're gonna we're gonna start going through a bunch of these questions and uh, yeah. Uh, so first one, let's see. Uh, we can go. We'll pull one from Reddit. Um, for the band, what are some influences going into this record? Oh jeez. Uh, oh man. Um, trying to find something that that we can create that we love, that we haven't heard, that the influence is originality, I think, for me. It's like, I don't want to replicate stuff anymore. Back in, like, 06, it would be, oh, man, you heard that new track from that band? You hear that new, you know, thing from this band? They're so cool. Like, you know, we, we just, we're so young and, like, wanted to fit in and, you know, now we're so much you know, evolved as musicians and humans and now it's just, like, making music that we feel and we, we believe in and I think the influence is, is, is standing out in a way to me. For sure, definitely. A, a lot of the a lot of the tunes still have that same, you know, lower D flavor, but it's it's so different now, but not because it feels so familiar and uh, it it's not I wouldn't necessarily say it's like picking up where we left off because you can't pick up where you left off over a decade ago, you know. It's about constant momentum and forward momentum and being able to create something for now, not bet for back then. So that's been uh, an awesome way to kind of bring the influence from each other, you know, like maybe it's not so much a, a musical artist influence that's like, oh, you know, we listen to all kinds of music from, you know, we all listen to hip hop and mm -hmm. R&B and rap and yeah. nice. soul and country. And country. Yeah. Actually, it kind of ties into the next one, which is, uh, Influences kind of how they change from LP one to LP two. Um, there's tracks on this album that are have electronic drums and like you know it's, yeah it's wild like it's almost there's hip hop influence there's jazz influence there's things that we always had in our music but we're not afraid to show people. They're saying volume quiet. Yeah. It is. Speak up. So there's new there's. <laughs> <laughs> live stream for ants <laughs> speak up guys so uh, yeah just to not being afraid to kind of express ourselves I guess like sometimes you might subdue your influences and, 
And now we're not doing that anymore. And there's a lot of uh, uh, eclectic jams on this album so far. So that's the main difference from LP1 to LP2, in my opinion. I mean, For sure? Yeah. We should scoot up a little closer to the. Let's get up. Yep, let's get up. All right, we'll get a little closer. I hope you're happy. Yeah. Well, there's, a, there's a couple people. Okay. Yeah, <laughs> Sorry. We've never done this before. Still quiet. Still quiet? Still quiet, <laughs> Still quiet huh? Yeah, Maybe it's turn like, your volume up. Yeah, trolling. Um, I gotta move this. Maybe somebody has any questions pulled up. Stefan, maybe field the comments we're on while I move the rig. Big question is, will there be a tour 2021? If tours are allowed in 2021, we'll think about it, yes. <laughs> but to be honest, this band is more, um, it's more about a uh, yeah, creative outlet and us kind of being able to express ourselves in this band and the format that this band has built and the reason that you guys are still here. It's not necessarily about, I don't know, touring, maybe, who knows. Um, it's just a fun byproduct, yeah. though, you know, it's like. We're not, we're not like 18 anymore, so somebody called us dads earlier. <laughs> That's fair. It's absolutely. Yeah. Dilfs. I, I like, I like uh, not sleeping on the floor of someone's house every night. You know, or not having to sleep in a van. But playing shows would be great. So I think shows are more reasonable to expect, right? Yeah. And then sure. like a yeah. tour. Um, maybe. Who knows? If you guys like our album, <laughs> maybe yeah, we'll see. see. Yeah, I mean, nothing's out of the cards. You never, you never know. Um, there was a, a lot of questions about, are we going to re-record old songs? Or like... I don't know. I don't think so. Probably, probably not. not. Probably yeah, not. probably not. I mean, sometimes you just got to let they're good, go. They're good, they're good the way they are. We're, yeah. we're, we're, we're honored that you love those songs enough for this long to want them in a better format or better quality, but at the same time, it, it's a, a moment in time. Like, they're, yeah. they were captured in 2002 or 2005, and that was, you know, that, that was the moment. Try to redo Fallopian Hoedown, and it's gonna be, it's not, this is gonna we'll be get insane. canceled, yeah. and then it won't, even, it won't even sound good, so. Yeah. Just, just, just enjoy them for what they are, you know? And hopefully you like the new stuff too, but. Any chance you'll drop some more merch? Yes. Hey! Yes. <laughs> yes. Lots of merch. Lots of merch. Matt, will you still stab pillows <laughs> on the new stuff? What's that? I don't know. Did you ever stab a pillow? I don't recall. I, I don't, don't so. I don't remember Matt stabbing a pillow. I never stabbed. Stefan punched me in the head one time. Now, now that we're older, will our songs be about lower back pain? <laughs> <laughs> Damn it. Absolutely. Oh, Absolutely. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's, yeah. it's all relatable at this point, so yes. And if you think that's funny, you just wait five more years, and you'll be jamming, <laughs> yep. yeah, you'll be jamming the lower back pain album too. <laughs> Promise, everybody gets there. So somebody just asked, "What is everybody name a favorite LD song?" Ooh, Ooh favorite. A favorite? Well, the unreleased one. Well, yeah. Favorite. Okay, that's not fair though, because they haven't heard that one. Uh, but yeah. <laughs> mine's the weatherman. Okay. Okay. Matt? Probably, if we speak quietly, that was, a, that was a good one. I really like the lyrics in that. Melodies are cool. Um, I guess I would do it. What's up? Uh, someone just said, the real question is, will Matt continue to wear a white t-shirt for every live show? <laughs> <laughs> like back in the day. Who is that? <laughs> Who is Who that? Is that? <laughs> uh, no, probably not. No. I would go for Matt and uh, Christy White versus Versace or because they actually ended up using that as a marketing slogan and I think they should pay us. Yeah. They did. Yeah. Um, oh, absolutely. No, no, no. Okay. The, the, yeah. the technicality in that song and like the the darkness, the vibes. I love that song or maybe Ocean of Beast. I think. Oh, I, like Ocean I was going yeah, yeah, to say mine's definitely the Ocean of Beast because I love the technicality in the songs. I like how there's the different movements, which is something that we've also captured in the new music that we've been creating. It's a journey. It's not just craziness, craziness. Like there's there's moments and moods. And I think a song like The Ocean, The Beast, and especially paired with the lyrics, 
uh, it really paints a really awesome picture and a story in your head. Um, so yeah, yeah, that's definitely probably my favorite song of ours. Mark? Nice. Um, I don't know, mine are for kind of a different reason. It's like, I love them because of how I play live. And it's just like, it's just so much more. So I'd say Ascending. Oh, yeah. oh, 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 that's on the film. Ascending. Oh, you just yeah, won. That one. one. Yeah, the Ascending. <laughs> that was like, oh, you just made everyone mad. It yeah. was. But, I, but second to that, I would say, would be Ocean, because that, again, you said the technicality in the song, and then especially, like, I just remember when we played it live, it was so fun to play it live, and you hit those points, and it's like, and it's got those, like, oh, shit moments in it, you yeah, know, it's yeah, like, yeah. but yeah, definitely toss up between those two for me. Well, Mark's a psycho live, so. <laughs> yeah. I, I vividly remember. You cut my head open. That was, that was my that was that was was head open. That was it. Blame me for that. I hope you made you with that. Yeah. That was, we got the, we got that, uh, that was in the Showcase Theater, too, yeah. wasn't it? Yeah. R.I.P., dude. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, incredible. Yeah. Yeah. Shout out yeah. Showcase Theater. Stefan yeah. ripped my head apart, uh, spinning his Failed face around. swing. Well, I guess it was it successful wasn't for you. It was successful for <laughs> I you. I thought it was cool. Not for you. That, I stopped doing bass wings after that. Yeah. yeah. And then I went to the hospital, I remember, <laughs> and they said, okay, we're going to shave your head to give you stitches. And I was like, you can't shave my head. I am like the hair. That's, that's I that's need you. the hair. You. And they're like, all right, well, we can staple it. And I was like, perfect. Thank you. <laughs> so stupid. <laughs> Um, I, I was a lot younger. You, there's a, what's your writing process like? Yeah, here's a, here's a good That's one. Good. Uh, what's your writing process like? Eddie Glenn's technicality and feeling so well. You guys have such a unique sound. What inspires you? Let's talk a little bit about what the writing process has been for this right now. For this so, new project. This yeah. has been, this has been... Well, weird, first of all, because of yes. the distancing. The it distancing. Makes things difficult. So we started writing this album, I suppose... Six months after the reunion show? Yeah, well we had one riff at the reunion yeah. show yeah. that we played. So we did play one riff of, of the new stuff at the reunion show. If you were there, thank you. Yeah, huge yeah, thank you. Oh yes. yeah, that yeah. was so fun. Oh, Officially started writing probably about six months after that. And then how did that come about? Someone asked that too. Um, um, I think I had been working on some new ideas for... These two have 4,000 songs written together yeah and they had great ideas after the high coming off the high from the show it didn't make any sense to any of us to stop doing this it was just too much fun the show was great we just all clicked so it, well. it was like why, why would we stop doing this they had music already written it's it made it like easy to jump into i guess sure yeah so it was just boom 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 we get maybe two songs done one practice together covid shut down yeah nothing or you know whatever happens and uh yeah i'm on a tangent but so as far as back to the writing process i guess as far as how it's been so because it's been a distant thing it's usually going to originate with a riff that he's got that he'll kind of oh hey look at this you know what i've been working it's on not just anybody i mean anybody any, you know we've been, out, we've he, been he, he'll things. literally record it a video on his iphone and send it to our group text <laughs> yeah. and sometimes we'll rip the audio or we'll be like hey record this good and let's start working on it or mark will have an idea and he'll send a video or he'll do whatever and I also just want to take this moment to explain that I am a horrible songwriter. <laughs> <laughs> I don't, incredible I don't even know if I've ever written a song. But uh, the like, riffs are things that you know inspire everyone else to start writing the songs. Everyone in this band plays multiple instruments. Like Tino plays guitar, you play bass, Mark plays saxophone, drums. Matt can do everything, Stefan can do whatever he wants, whatever he feels it. <laughs> <laughs> whenever I'm not busy. <laughs> so it's, it's, it's not really a matter of, uh, you know, basically we just need a little inspiration and everyone can just make it happen. And, and usually what's happening now is a little spark. It goes around the group and do, unfortunately COVID and everything, it takes four to six weeks to get a, a riff to turn into something. Into something tangible that we can all start working with and then yeah. bouncing the ideas off Just, of. Which is why we've been teasing little content for so long because it takes so long. And, and why we're here now is to take the 11 songs and more, 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 <laughs> yeah, more, that, more. We've, that we've been working on and actually start 
you know, deleting that four week wait time in between idea sharing and yeah. just making it focused. And now we're like five minutes, we have an idea, we edit, we change. That's what we're doing out here. So yeah. that's been the process, I guess, modern modern writing process for LP2. Yeah, we, we all live quite far away now. Yeah, so it's true. Yeah. I'm we in LA, live, yeah. Tina's Palm Springs, and these guys are, are North. you guys all North Cal? Yeah, we're in North Cal, uh, San Diego. Yeah, yeah. So they're close, but Tina and I are pretty far away. So we, the three of us have been meeting up as often as possible, you know, safely, all that kind of stuff. Test, you know, whatever. Don't worry, we're good. Mm. We've been meeting up as often as possible, and then uh, just trying to move the songs along, basically. Uh, Matt, has your voice changed a bit from earlier lo Lodi stuff? Yeah. Yeah. Well, explain. Explain. <laughs> 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 yeah. Yeah. I mean, yeah. I'm 33 years old now, so my voice has definitely changed. It's a lot deeper. Um, it's a lot stronger. I'd say um, a lot more control, and um, it's, it's gonna sound it's gonna sound a lot different too because my style has evolved a lot. Um, my influence have changed, or my influences have changed. So my melodies are gonna be different, but for the most part, it still sounds like me, just a little. Older and more mature. I think it, I think it sounds. Yeah, it sounds way better. better. Oh, dude. When, yeah. like, when it they, was here, and now somehow yeah. he's kind of like. Just when they first shot the <laughs> the demo bit. over on the group chat, I was like, and Matt, you sung on it. I was like, oh my god, this yeah. is sick. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, why do we quit? <laughs> so the band's always like, um, I don't know. I guess it's it's not like changing our writing style in terms of live or whatever. Now we're just kind of like writing music and it's got energy, <laughs> like it could absolutely be blown out live, but it's it's less about the performance, it's more about the performances that we can capture here. In the musicianship. Yeah. yeah, musicianship, and then and we'll figure out how to do it live, because we can figure it out. Yeah. So we're not scared to experiment again. I think Matt's singing like in the, I don't know, arguably like lower register, but not really. I don't know. Like, it's weird. Like yeah, for the most part, I'm staying in a lower register. But now, because I'm not peeking out the whole time, I can go way higher. So there's moments that are way more impactful right. than they would have been before when I was at my, you know, mid to top of my range, constantly, constantly yeah. the whole time, just belting. And now I'm like, I've got like a good melody, and then boom, I'll hit like a high note, and it's like, oh shit. That was gnarly. So it's uh, what's up? Will there still be screaming? Oh, I don't know. Why don't you uh, buy the album? And, uh, <laughs> you'll yeah. see. And you'll see. Stream now. What do you think <laughs> is the answer to that? I'll do it. <laughs> this is sort of a good question. I don't know if we ever said this. Do it. But why did you guys stop in the first place? Oh, good. Oh, Jesus Christ. Which time? <laughs> Which time? <laughs> I think the first time. The band is broken up, and... <laughs> okay, I was going to say, the band is broken up so many times. We've had... 30 members? Yeah. Like 30, 30 members? Yeah. You might look at the Wikipedia and think that that's a yeah, lie. It's, it's, it's probably absolutely. missing people. <laughs> so, the, okay. I mean, shout out to me. I'm not hey, wrong. Yeah. you made it, man. Yeah. You made it happen. Hey. I, I think okay. it, uh, so you won I, the race, I guess. Yeah, you, answer it. Let's go around the room real quick. I think it was because we started way too young. We started yeah. like at 15 touring. We were getting 16. notes from like our high school counselors to yeah, go on tour. We would have to leave. <laughs> and we would tour like nonstop. So like when we finally put out a record. I was doing homework packets in the van. Yeah, we were like so burnt out when we just were sort of just getting started that, I mean, I was like, fuck this, I'm over it. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, all my friends are graduating and I was like, I need to do something with my life. Yeah. Um, it's understandable now. Yeah. At the time, I was like, "Fuck Stefan." <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I was the first one. You know. <laughs> yeah, for sure. Stefan was like, "Yeah, dude, I'm out." Yeah, I, I mean, it was it was rough at the time, but you know, yeah. <laughs> shit happens. Quick, Life happens. Quick side question: the guitars are everything you've heard ever. I think is in drop C. Drop C tuning. Drop, drop C. C tuning. Yes. A question on the Facebook. To, yeah. So there you go. Touring and being a band back in the day was 
really fucking hard and signing record deals that you think are going to be good and then may, then kind of aren't and like, you know, being a, being a byproduct of the industry at an early age, which is what our band was because we took it so professionally from such an early age. Like this is like, like me and Eddie were in high school when we were playing together in this band. Like this is our <laughs> high school band. So like starting from there and, and learning the ropes and doing everything and just kind of like rolling with the punches and doing it as long as we could and then kind of realizing like maybe now's not the time and not even thinking towards the future but then realizing once we've gotten together and revisited these songs and like we did the show and we you know had a lot of the memories it really brought it back to like wait we need to do this now like we we need to be together we need to create and be able to create something amazing that is who we are now and not what we were feeling like a little bit forced to do then because we thought that that's what needed to happen was you had to fucking your van had to break down everywhere and, and you had to hustle and grind and do everything and now uh now it's a lot different oh my god that's a jay Atienza. Jay, we listened to all those tracks you sent me. Last we were night. listening to them last oh, night, dude. Oh, yes, we took a trip dude. down memory lane. Jay, Jay sent us uh, basically recordings of all of our first bands when we were like 14, 15. So yeah. Thank you, Jay. Yes. We listened to them last night. It was amazing. They were so bad <laughs> in the best way. <laughs> so yeah. Bad. Somebody asked what the infamous burrito spot in San Diego that I used to rave about. I'm still used raving Lolitas, Lolitas, baby. Lolitas. Shut up. Shut up. Well, you don't do a California burrito. That's out of Eastlake? No. What do you eat? What do you eat there? Um, I would definitely go. Tina's vegan now. I'm vegan now, so I would go custom black bean fry sauce guac. Yeah. Red sauce too, by the way. Okay. All right, this is a good one. Self-producing or is it just demoing before studio time? Uh, Self-producing for the most part, as um, as a dream of ours, I think. Yeah. If we're being honest, we've yeah. always wanted to do it, do it ourselves. ourselves. And technology and everything has kind of and time has actually kind of helped. Yeah. By the way, uh, you guys can see it, but this is kind of the setup we've been recording on. We've got a MacBook Pro, some Yamaha monitors. We've got the mic setup. We've got an Apollo Eight interface, and then. Everybody's got their amps kind of scattered yes, around, scattered. and then the, the drum set was electric kit. Yeah. But um, we, yeah, we've been tracking pretty much everything ourselves. Um, I'm gonna go do vocals somewhere. I have a guy that I love working with. His name's uh, Brian Ryder. Um, he did Moss. Though. Yeah, he's the guy yeah. who did Moss. He did the Infinite, Infinite, etc. as well. Um, he's just a really good guy, really smart. Uh, he's, he's classically like, he's trained. Really intelligent. Yeah. And um, he doesn't really let me get away with bad takes and stuff. Not that I would ever try to, but he uh, he pushes me, and I think that's what you guys deserve. So I decided I would uh, go track with him for vocals. So the plan is to do all instrumentation independently, and then do uh, mainly vocals and maybe some other production with, with Brian Greiner. Mm -hmm. That's the plan for now. Um, we don't know exactly when. It depends on when we're done writing, but we're getting pretty close. That's why we're here. Yeah. So. Here's a cool one. Um, what what kind of moves do you think it's going to take to bring our scene back to its former glory? Ooh. And Ooh. who would be the perfect lineup for a hometown throwdown oh. show oh. with homies from our old scene and their current projects or reunion? I mean, the hometown throwdown. Vintage show idea? Let's stack the bill, boys. Like, who would? Oh, okay. Wow. I think. I could fix the scene. In no, <laughs> fix the scene <laughs> quick, 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 man. in no particular order. No, absolutely. I would not. love to watch an Undermined set. Ooh, Ooh wee! Shout out Ooh, Undermined. Yes. Dick Martin, Tanner, yep. D. Mm. Definitely Yobs. Yobs. <laughs> uh, early times. Early times. Early times. Yeah, early times. Oh, Cheers to the my American, my American, obviously. Oh, yeah, my American. That goes without saying. That's how Larry, Absolutely. Jesse, Steven. It, okay, it'd be, it'd be Soma main stage New Year's Eve show. Oh, oh. And it's, it's Lower D, Undermined, 
My American. I put Yesterday's Rising. I was just going to say Yesterday's Rising. Yeah, Yesterday's Rising was I love so that. Is that John Bloom? Oh, no, yeah. yeah. Um, and Brandon. And Brandon. Yeah, yeah. Richie. Richie, hell yeah. OPAC. 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 Oh, oh, Portraits and Killers, oh, dude. What's up? Yeah, man. that'd be crazy. We were just kind of like sort of talking about like, oh man, that'd be so crazy. But like, dude, it's, dec it's over a decade later. Like this, the local scene in San Diego, it's what we grew up with. So that's like, you know, shout out to Soma. Shout out to oh, absolutely everywhere that we've, you know, it's it was great. literally our stomping ground. So it's so important for us during that time. Okay. And uh, now shit's just different. And, uh, and that's all right. So, cool, let's see. Um, we kind of... Uh, Higher Than Kites remake. Just listen to Higher Than Kites. Yeah, I, I mean, think. I think we recorded like three different <laughs> it's times. It's pretty good, yeah. How different, what how, 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 here it is. how different is the tone of the new stuff compared to the greatest of all, of all lost arts? It's, I the tone it, of it's still uh, I think pretty it's, dark, but yeah, yeah. it follows the same road, but if you just keep, you, you, you're further along it now. You're taking a few more exits along the way. Yeah. It, yeah, okay. we've seen some shit now along this road. So, <laughs> so far, what we have as a collection of songs is probably the most diverse collection of songs. Yeah, absolutely. It's a fucking roller coaster. But, but, not, but not in a way where we're trying to, like, appease different genres or demographics, per se. It's more just, like, appeasing ourselves. The songs all sound like, lo like lower D songs. They're just... I think they're just great. We're going to play one maybe in a minute here. A demo. Um, a, dem a demo. They're, these a are demo. all demos. Demo. And also, we can't control the quality of the phone or your phone or the stream. I just like a snippet. Yeah, just a little bit, you know. It, you might be able to hear it. Yeah. If you want to record it and leak it, you're just going to look bad. Yeah. You're going to look like a jerk. <laughs> Driving show would be fun. Mm. Calipat, oh my gosh. Calipat, Calipat dude. Oh, dude. Yo, okay, somebody wow. with a bomb, big, safe mansion and or <laughs> outdoor back, back area, book us, yeah. let's do it. Because playing, playing house shows and backyard shows and oh. keggers oh, and like, my God. Dude, those loading we, docks. Dude, loading we, docks. We, we played shows where it was literally the cops rolled and we're like, our, all of our gear is getting impounded. Great. <laughs> <laughs> now this is happening. Y'all need better audio. What were you saying? My mom just texted me, y'all need better audio. <laughs> <laughs> um, Listen, Ape. <laughs> <laughs> you, need, you need to get. <laughs> uh, when are we going to get a single? Okay, so something we're working on, I guess. I mean, it's decided we have a single. We're going to try to release it within the next month or two. Yeah. Um, Before the end of the year is our absolute goal, if not more, but yes. at least one. Uh, we have things booked. Like we're, we're kind of getting the ball rolling on all that, but we just want to do it right. This band doesn't cut corners, and we just, we just don't want to rush anything. So, before the end of the year, let's just leave it yes, at Yes, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Why do you guys always wear the same clothes to your shows? What? Yeah, <laughs> so, I don't know. Clothes, I don't think... <laughs> they're called show clothes? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, yeah, on tour, on tour, that is an actual thing. Gosh. Like, you would have show clothes, you leave them in the trailer, they smell awful. Mm -hmm. You play, you take them off every day, and they, they're, they're gross. Yeah, like your sports, That's a thing. It's like your sports equipment. Um, I don't think we really ever did that, though. No. We did laundry. Yeah, like, yeah, we did laundry. <laughs> we were actually pretty good about that. Here's a question. Does Stefan still demand to be called Stefine? <laughs> yes, he does. Yes. yes. It's on the record. Yes. He will show him the respect he deserves. It'll be on, it'll be on our record. Yes. Yes. Stefan told her. <laughs> he doesn't demand it. It just happens. Yeah. Okay, are we actually back together? Or are we just... For the sake of putting out one last album, cash grab, we're whack. Cash well, grab. there was never any cash. <laughs> yeah, so yeah, we pulled that out right away. away. <laughs> this is true. Oh. So that's true. true. Um, let's see. Everybody's talking about the vinyl for Greatest of All Lost Arts. Okay, let's address this real quick. We've had 
A it's lot, been looked into. It's, yes. It's not as easy as it sounds to just like so send has, some files over and then somebody makes a vinyl. Have people seen how Kanye is blowing up on Twitter right now because of record contracts? Yeah. We are literally cannot release that because of a record contract. Our record contract. Because they own our masters. Our record contract was. So Kanye, help us out. Let me break it down. Help you In the simplest form, I'm not going to get too annoying with it. Our record contract was purchased buy another record label right. while we were broken up and we basically had no say we, we were not involved in that process so our masters for that album that you won the vinyl of I want one too it's a lot of money possibly, a lot of zeros possibly a lot of zeros and also like we don't want to get in trouble sued yada 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 it's not as simple as hey can we make a vinyl and they go yeah cool it's not that simple unfortunately trust us we tried to do it three or four times before the reunion show, mm -hmm. and it it so. And you still don't. Yay, help us out! Thank you, Kanye. Let's get you in here. Um, <laughs> Thanks, Kanye. Yeah. <laughs> it's it's. I would say it's one of the things that we all want to do 100 percent before we die. Like we want. That we'll get them. Yes. Like, it's it just will gonna take time and finesse and probably lawyers. And we yeah, have people. We have, <laughs> yeah. we have people trying to help us out. Take. We have people willing to help us. Uh, Pressing plants and, and record labels and stuff that are really down to help, but uh, it's not that simple. We don't. We can't just send a folder over and go. Here you go. Yeah, make this. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, it really does suck. Thank you. The stream, no, the streams, uh, the streams still go to us, but like we get paid off of it, but not. Yeah. A lot. Let's be fully disclosed here. Let's do it. <laughs> Streaming did not exist when we signed our record contract, so. Another thing that was negotiated when we were broken up was streaming royalties. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> not even on the And we got a really bad deal because <laughs> we didn't exist. Um, so, yeah, streams come to us. Thank you. Stream it up. But stream it for the music, not to give us a couple dollars. Stream it because you like it. That's it. Yeah. Right. Thank you. Thank you, Balance underscore and underscore composure mm -hmm. underscore. Are great, you guys, great band. Are you guys going to tie the new record all together like to Satellite and Amistar? Ooh. I actually sort of brought it up. Yeah, we were really talking about it. Huh. Like how how to satellite and Namaskar kind of flow together. Like it, it caps the album, like yeah. the start and the and the final of it. Yeah. We actually we actually yeah. got we actually got that idea from Armor for Sleep. <laughs> yeah. Uh, that one record I forget. Uh, what to do when you're dead? Yeah. yeah. Wow. Which just that was yeah. just 15 years. So good. Yeah. Yeah, really? yeah recently wow. just 15 years released. Cool. Yeah, I think, I think there was like bands in like the 70s and 80s doing that too. Yeah, yeah. That's what, <laughs> but that's, that's, what that's, yeah, that's, that's our yeah, reference. Yeah, yeah. We're like, oh, that's cool. We should do that too. What a great idea. So to answer the question, maybe. Maybe. Yeah. <laughs> I think, I mean, yeah, maybe. Let's play, um, let's play like a bit of a new song. Let's, uh. Do you guys want to hear some new music? Thumbs up. Give us a thumbs up. Or, or, yeah. Music. Which one you throw a thumbs up in the chat right there. Yeah, everybody. Who's yeah, still let's here? Let's go. Let's hear new music. Throw up a thumbs, thumbs up, man. Let's. Again, these are demos, but I think we've demos. done a pretty good job with them. They're pretty good demos. There's a yeah. song. Yeah, I see a bunch of them. Oh, hey, okay. okay. All right. All right. All right. Please do a vinyl of the new album. I think we can do that. Yeah, we can do a vinyl of the new album. No way. Sure. Yeah. No contracts for that, baby. Yeah, that's why we're doing. And we'll order as many as you want. Um. <laughs> well, that's how you get it done. Hey, pre-order. That's how you pre-order. Yeah, I like that. Well, well, it takes like a CEO in like five months. We hope. That's what I'm saying. Pre-order. <laughs> we hope this sounds pretty good. You know, I don't know. It's, yeah, hopefully, you're able to enjoy it. Yeah. And it sounds all right. It sounds pretty good where I'm standing. Yeah. Don't, don't. And it's been sounding I wouldn't really pin good. It. Yeah, I don't pin it, but. Okay. So, this is a new one? Just do a little bit of it. Talk about it. A little bit. Ready? Sure. Yeah. Yeah.
Yes, that was the Mortal Kombat version. That probably won't be in the final version. Cause no, that's kind of a live thing. We don't want to get sued. But that's the... Wait, are these old demos or new stuff? This is brand, brand, yeah. brand new. Yeah. These aren't new demos. Yeah. New, new. Brand <laughs> new, new, new demos. That's what, we're, that, that's what we're working on out here. We have 11 plus of those. We're doing little tweaks and that's why we're here, so. I've ever seen the screams are missing? <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah. That one didn't have any, I guess. No, yeah. 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 But I mean, oh, well. still just as hard as that one. Also though, okay, let's be real. Um, screaming hurts your voice. <laughs> And so for Matt, we don't always want to be like, hey, go scream something for a demo yeah. when we're, we're doing clean We've vocals. We've really been working on yeah. lots of the melodies, lots of making sure that the songs sound yeah. sonically there because then the screaming is just the I think on the Tina will be doing the screams. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I'll, be, I'll be doing also the screams. Yeah. <laughs> but they're going to be really bad. Start a Patreon. <laughs> Start a Patreon. We're going to do OnlyFans. Yeah, lower the OnlyFans. Ah, Everybody's right. asking uh, what the album name is going to be. OnlyFans. <laughs> OnlyFans. Only yeah. fans. <laughs> Our new album's called OnlyFans. That's uh, not... That's no, not. we don't know. <laughs> yeah, I mean, we're, we, brought it up, we brought it up the other night, and we were like, it's not there yet. We don't know what it's called yet, you know? It's not... One more it's not there. Think about it. So we'll figure it out, though. It, it's getting there. We had a really big, long talk about... What Matt, the songs are about level. and what Matt's been through and what's that? He's saying next level. Next level, thank you. Yeah, Matt Matt's been killing it. Everybody's fucking killing it out here. Not just here, in our own way of being creative and levels. All this. There's levels to all this shit. Um <laughs> Who did the vocal harmony? Uh, Matt did. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he recorded the vocals. Yeah. General idea of the album release, rough estimate. Ooh, oh, well, definitely twenty, release? definitely twenty twenty one. Yeah, definitely for, for the album release. I yeah. would assume second half, but who knows? Maybe summer for your summer fun. Yeah, who knows? It takes time to if things continue the way they're going. We don't really know where we're gonna record, how we're gonna record. Right. There's no. There's no label pushing us into any sort of situation. So we're really kind of taking this as like. We're protecting our baby here. We're making sure that these songs are going to sound the best that they can. We're going to do everything in our power to make sure that they resonate with everybody. And uh, nothing with meaning comes easy. Hey. So oh, oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, things won't just happen because we need to put it out. They will happen because it is the time for us to put it out because we've spent so much effort mm -hmm. and passion into putting so, it out. I got, so, I got one real quick. Yeah. yeah. This is the way. So, this this, is, the way. Is, the this way, is the way, baby. We got one on here. Um, why out in the desert? Um, so we're all actually currently living in Southern California. Mm -hmm. Yep. Uh, LA, San Diego, Escondido. Uh, the desert, uh, where we're at is Joshua Tree. Um, don't come find us. <laughs> <laughs> Um, it, it's one of the only counties, I think, in California where Airbnbs are still fully open. And yeah, and you're allowed so to. So, to do this safely, it was really hard to coordinate where to go and, and how to do it. 
legally and also like to not endanger anybody and San Bernardino County I think is is, is this county and yep. they're open and um, we found a really cool house it's beautiful it, it uh, inspires a lot of creativity there's something to be said about being literally feeling out like here you're in the middle of nowhere and all you have is your music and the dudes and ideas and one grocery store down the street and you know what I mean like it it's really like something that um, it, it changes up the way you think and it makes you really focus more. And there's uh, beauty to the desert, absolutely. And I mean, it's like, you that... too did it, so. <laughs> yeah, yeah, well, there you go. And you yeah. too will be our biggest influence on uh, all of our music, usually, yeah. so. I, I keep on saying, we talked about it earlier, but yes, merch will be coming with the single drop. Woo! So, please buy it. <laughs> How does it feel to be doing this? Again? Yeah, I was just gonna say, this amazing. Is so good. yeah. Oh man, it feels. It's like the release, like the, yeah. the pent up aggression, almost. Because that's. It's almost. I don't know. It's almost like something that when we broke up the first, I guess like the major breakup is kind of what everyone's referring to, after the album, that it it was kind of forced upon us and it happened and we didn't know what to do and it took ten years to figure it out and now that we're here, everyone's like, this was. That was not a mistake, but what we're doing now is is correct. Like it's we need to be making music together. Talk a little bit about how it also consumes the grief of the feeling and the sense of being yes. disconnected from each other and from this creative process because Lower D has always been creativity before everything else. Like it it has to start in the fucking room where we're at and now having this outlet again talk eddie talk a little bit about uh and maybe matt can elaborate a little bit after about how this <laughs> is a, con a, yeah. a con consuming the grief and the and the lack yeah. of having this in our lives yeah okay so the band broke up you know let's fast forward through all that i think i had fully convinced myself that i never wanted to play music again and music was stupid and lordy whatever like yeah. I, I fully convinced myself that it wasn't really a thing that I really cared about at all for years and years. <laughs> and then I, I run into Tino in San Diego. He doesn't even live in San Diego. I hadn't even talked to him in years. I run into him and he goes, hey, we should uh, talk about maybe getting back together and playing a show. I'm like, Okay. <laughs> <laughs> and then, it, so from that point yeah, on, it hasn't talking stopped. Talking here too. Okay, sorry. Talking so here. that moment, I mean, having somebody else that was in, in the band with me express interest in doing it again, I guess it maybe had happened with Matt and some other people, but I don't know. When Tina hit me up, I was just like, okay, this is really important. I really started critically thinking about it. We'll just talk to you about it. Like, sorry. I don't know what I'm doing right there. <laughs> there, wait, wait, there, just go. I realized, the, I realized that, look at, again. <laughs> look at the wall, straight forward, don't look at anybody. Man. I realized that this band was a bit of the bulk of my sanity, I guess. I started a business called Other Means, which is... Plug in. No, no, no. <laughs> but no, 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 not a plug. Shut up, <laughs> Always plug. <laughs> not a plug, not a plug. But literally, I named it Other Means because it was my other means of expressing myself and like not losing my fucking mind. And I was doing things like that without even realizing that the band was what I needed, you know what I mean? So... I don't know. It just kind of happened, and we all trusted each other, and we got in a room, and it just, I don't know. It's, it's amazing. I love it. Matt, cool. elaborate a little bit, too. Talk mm -hmm. a little bit about how it's a, that was, a vessel that to was consume deep. the bullshit. That was deep, you know? yeah. Good job. <laughs> and then maybe that can segue into... Yeah. What's... So, I'm going to kind of give you a back... We're going to play another song for you guys. Yeah. If you give us enough oh, thumbs up. If you give us hey. enough thumbs up. I don't do, remember, do you like, I don't do, remember do, which do one. Like I'll do a little song. Okay. Well, for vibing. We'll do one little song and then we'll give them a part of another one. How about that? Oh, what? <laughs> <laughs> you just put too many weird no, ones just in do, there. No, just do like a clip of one. Well, maybe, Matt, just maybe talk, uh, let's not segue into songs, but like just talk a little bit about the ideology of, let's call it just, what, Grief Eater? Grief Eater. Okay, so what yeah. Is, like I was what does that say. mean? Whether we're going to play that or not. I think it's an important thing. We are going to play that one, yeah. 
Um, so the band broke up. I had to figure my life out. I had five friends die in one summer. I grew up, I mean, from second grade up until, you know, they died. We were really close. So I was going through a band breakup. I was going through that. And I had to, like, basically tell myself, yeah, the band was cool or whatever, but, like, it's time to grow up now. It's time to be a man and get a job and, like, move on. And I, and I didn't know how to deal with that. And I continued to play music a little bit here and there, but my heart was kind of broken about it. And it was hard to, like, really let loose and be like, oh, yeah, like, I'm just having fun, you know? Because it was like, dude, this is not fun. This sucks. Like... I'm by myself now, and I'm, all I'm worried about is like working, and I couldn't, I couldn't get my head straight. Um, Mark and I had been jamming for like 16 years, so luckily I had him coming over, like, dude, let's write a song, or like, let's jam this idea, or I'd call him up and be like, Mark, I just wrote this cool thing, you should come over and we'll just play a song. <laughs> and, uh, so like, I was able to continue with it a little bit, but for the most part, it was kind of like. Uh, you know, just too many things happening at once. And then, I don't know who was it, Tino posted something online about, oh, the 10 year anniversary's coming up. Like, we I should... did a sneak attack on the guys. Yeah, yeah. yeah I had this plan for a while, yeah. and I was like, I'm gonna fuck him up real quick. <laughs> just because, because, I just thinking back to it, it, it seriously brought up so many amazing memories, and we really did create timeless music and something that. Uh, was so worthwhile at the time and just because maybe it wasn't as heavily appreciated as maybe we would have hoped it would have been at the time It stands the test of time because it's damn good art and it's damn good creativity put a as a piece of, of work so Another I, I, I threw it out there into the universe and was like What's up guys? <laughs> like yeah. I freaking miss you guys Let's, I feel like we kind of need this a little bit. Like it, it's been a long time. We all need it. We all need it. And it, yeah. it, and it happened at a time that I get I get messages from some of you guys about how like my lyrics have saved your lives. And oh, dude, I'm getting choked up. Oh, shit. About how my lyrics have saved your life or your you know your sanity, but it did the same thing for me. Same. Yeah. yeah all of us. Yeah. That's why this is so important. And that's, that's kind of how this band works. That's how we've all connected. And that's like super important to me and Eddie and Stefan and Tino and Mark. Like we just want to create something that's super real. That's like, we're putting it all out there for, for ourselves. And, but we're putting it out there for you too, to like, to hear it and be like, wow, I connected that. Like I feel that hundred percent. And we're, we're, you know, we're a hundred percent honest in everything we do. And, uh, and that continues in the vein of the greatest of all lost arts okay, because they just asked what that the greatest of all lost arts is honesty. Have we ever said that? And yeah, it, right. it's Have been really disclosed that? I, not officially, but the the quote comes from uh, who I, it was. Uh, so Mark, Twain? Mark Twain. Mark Twain. Mark Twain. Yeah. yeah. And it's, it's been something we've been wanting to talk about for a long yeah, time. Yeah, <laughs> back back when we did the first album, we didn't have we had MySpace and that's it. You know, now there's Twitter, Instagram. We had to, we, we were blocked from Reddit all day because we were posting <laughs> wrong. Yeah. We don't know. <laughs> we don't really know what's going on. So like back then, it was just MySpace and like it, you know, it, it just just so different that to us we were like, what can we do? We're gonna make honest music and make shit that isn't the most popular stuff right now, but who cares? Like to us, it wasn't about popularity. It wasn't about cool. It was like, dude, we're grinding and we're hustling and we love what we do. And that quote has always resonated with us, the greatest of all lost arts. But that's why we just did the greatest of all lost arts because if you look into it, that art is the art of honesty. And something that we were very, that came very natural to us to pick up over 10 years later was that concept that it is still a lost art to be honest with yourself creatively, to be honest with yourself as a human being, to be honest with yourself in every sense of the word. And we're always growing as people and individuals. So in that aspect, 
Yeah, we're picking up right where we left off because the greatest of all offsets is still honesty because it's lies fucking all day. And <laughs> in 07 and 08, this is not not an attack on skinny jeans and like makeup. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Because we all rock skinny jeans. We all rock the skinny jeans and the beach. I got a pair somewhere. somewhere. We all, we all, we're there. I'm not attacking it. But at that time, it was, it was a game you could play. You could piece a band together and play the right breakdowns of the synth and like, and blow up and like, and we didn't want to do that, and it really pissed me off. I fucking hated it. Right, for I really sure. hated it, and I never, I didn't want to be in that scene, and we're, but we were, and we toured with those bands, and I fucking hated it so much. And honestly, I think that, I don't know, our album, it allowed us to participate, but not, like, fall in line. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And I don't know, I mean, and maybe that's why no one's ever heard of us, but... Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> So when he said that they bought the greatest of all lost starts on deployment in 2008 wow. and got them through dark times, thank you so much for listening. Seriously, thank you. Thank you. you guys thank don't you. understand. Yeah. This music is made so honestly and so just it, the way that it affects everybody is it, we could never know that it could affect somebody that much. Yeah. We just do it because we need it because we love it and we've needed this for so long. And you can hear that in the new music. You can hear that emotion. You hear it in the instruments, you hear it in the voice, you hear it in everything, and the whole vibe of what we've been creating, and we really wanted to make sure that we're capturing that, and you will be hearing more soon. Are we gonna do a snippet? We gotta, we gotta wrap this up. A couple more minutes, yeah. yeah. I don't uh, well, out my friend here. Yeah. Here, man. Oh, yeah. 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 Someone said, who, who, someone said who did the drone shot. This is the guy oh, who did the drone shot. Hey, Doc hey. 21. Hey, Doc. What up? Hey. <laughs> R.I.P. Kobe. R.I.P. Kobe. Kobe. So this man has been taking pictures of our band, hanging out with 15 us. 15 years? Traveling with us for 15, wow, 15 years. years? <laughs> He's been hanging out with us. He's been a part of this band more than most people. Yeah. <laughs> Honestly. More than most people. And I'll just share one more thing. We were thinking, man, we're going to Joshua Tree. We got this house. We're going to work on the album. How do we document it? This guy texted us. He texted out of the me. blue, Matt. He out texted of the blue. me as we out were, talking, we were talking about him. We were like, "Who should we get?" We're like, "A dot." And then, boom! He texted me, "Hey, I had a dream last night. I was hanging out with you guys, and I was like, dude, this can't be any weirder." So, oh, man. Well, thank you. Yeah, yeah, I had to do it. I had to do it. Yep. Thank you. Yeah. Content, content creator. Here we go. <laughs> so here's a here's a quick question that just came in One before. More. And here's a classic one. Where did the name come from? Oh. Eddie. Okay. All right, let me do one more annoying close-up. Uh, <laughs> camera one, camera two. Yeah, yeah. Um, okay. So the band starts. Oh, pause the point. Oh, oh shit. Oh, no. Okay, well, there, camera sorry. one. Yeah, go back to I gotta keep one. going. Uh, That's so true. we've got. It does. No! We had an hour. We're back. Yeah. Sorry. Right. Hey, we got cut off. Instagram's hey. back. We're telling followers that you started live again. Okay, go so right there. So we've got... Who's in the band at this point? Me? Tommy? Tommy, Luke? Luke? Mike? Stephon's brother? Oh my god. Yeah, no, like, okay, so... <laughs> Stephon's brother was band the band? starts like... Uh, that was probably 2001. One. Yeah. Or 2001. 2000. 2000, 2000. 2000, 2001. The band starts with... From another band called Half-Assed. <laughs> this is my first band with my friend Paul and Tony. Um, then it starts a new band called Lower Definition, and we get the name because we got myself, Stefan's brother Mike, Tommy Canatello on drums, and Luke yeah. Weaver, and shout out to Luke, on vocals. We don't have a name. One day, <laughs> we're sitting there on the phone, what should our band name be? Luke goes, <laughs> I'm looking at a Best Buy ad, what about Higher Definition? <laughs> <laughs> And this is like this is like when high HD TVs were were hot, just coming out. And I said, "Man, that's that's like too positive. What about lower?" <laughs> and I swear to God, that's it. That was it. And yes, band names don't have to be much, <laughs> but later it, it's evolved and it's meant more. You know, it's meant more of like okay, imagine I look at something in the dictionary. The tenth definition might be super obscure and weird. But still factual, you know, there's other things that have evolved, but lower definition, that's what it was. It didn't make any sense to change it. 
we left it. We love it. And it is what it is. So, how about one more little song and we got a bail? A little snippet. Thank you guys for coming out. We'll keep you posted. We'll do updates, all that stuff. Okay? All right, let's go. Keep it locked. Tell your friends. Tell your friends. <laughs> 119 people. That's crazy. Damn, dude. All right. Let's go. Hey, I'm going to play Grief Eater. All right. This this is a song called Grief Eater. It's cool. <laughs> it's cool. Yeah, it's neat. My friends like it. <laughs> breakdown comments don't worry it's they're there we're gonna give you vocals are so on point yep yeah we're gonna give you a little i don't know 30 seconds of a and then we're done whatever you, it yeah then we're done but uh yeah don't worry they're there just calm down yeah. tina will be doing the you streaming everything at once <laughs> yeah. be an appetizer you know come on Word. we're still cooking this better you be the single yeah. Yeah. I got it, guys. Yeah. Don't trip. It's gone. Streams are there. All right. <laughs> so thank you for coming. Thank you. We thank love you. you. Yeah, thank we love you, you guys. Thank you, thank so, you so much. much. A couple we'll more. See you yeah. Spread the word. Check this Ooh. shit out real quick. More music. How many? How many songs are coming? A lot. A lot. A lot. A lot. A lot. Double digits, baby. Double digits. Merch is coming too. Oh yeah. Merch is coming over here. Merch is coming. Hey. Double digit song numbers. Sick. All right. Here. Yes, they'll be different, but these are just demos. Yeah. Yeah. Here's a breakdown. Wait, I'll get the part of it. 